get caught on your line. All right, guys, we are at the mighty Mississippi, below where the Ohio River comes in. So it's real big here, about two miles wide. I'm starting off with a five ounce weight, 30 pound main line to a 50 pound liter, two foot long, with a swivel and a green sunfish. Try to get me a blue cat. Yeah, that was definitely a buffalo. You could tell. We got one. We got a pole out. What? You got one? On a bobber? Are you serious? Wilma caught a fish on a bobber, guys. In the Mississippi River. Drum, but hey, yeah. <laughs> she always, she always surprises me. All right, well, we got our first fish of the day. It's an old drum on a bobber and worm in the Mississippi River. Hey, no, you don't. Hey, it up. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. All right, guys, first, first blood. Oh shit. Ooh. Oh man, that hurt him. Look at that! Whoa! It's because I got the eight, ten foot pole, so you can cast it further. Oh, it is. That's a sturgeon. Yeah. Oh, no, it's an alligator gar. It's either a sturgeon or an alligator gar. That's it's only two kinds. That's alligator a alligator gar. That's a sturgeon. You got a small. It's not long. That's a sturgeon. <laughs> That's the only time I've ever seen them is when they're dead. That's twice now. I want to show that. Take a picture of that. That's a sturgeon. Yep, that's what it is, sturgeon. Alright guys, I got my first fish of the day. Of course, our favorite, the drum. 
our favorite fish out of all of them. Not the most dreaded one that I can get. Can't stand drum. Oh, but I'm happy to get something. I didn't even know he was on there. He was just on there, never really pulled. Out, guys, about a pound and a half. Guys, Wilma found this up above. I've never caught a sturgeon, but that is the head of a sturgeon. It was just laying on the rocks. Pretty cool. Tack like a drum again. There he was. Got it. <clears throat> Don't feel that bad so far. Small, pretty small, but not horrible. It's actually pretty big. <clears throat> oh man. He's fighting hard now. Oh man, you gotta come over here. I'm wrapped around my other pole. I got it, I'll be able to get it. Buffalo, I think. Nope, damn drum. Couldn't get lucky enough to be a buffalo, could I? Of course. So glad I could drive two and a half hours to get a drum. God. And of course it swallowed the hook. About four or five pounds. He just didn't fight until about halfway in. Then he started fighting. I have a feeling he swallowed it. guys another drum about three pounds maybe four about four <sighs> oh man big 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 Oh man, drum. Ah, come on. Another drum. Boy, I thought I really had something and it swallowed the hook again. Imagine that. 
They get bigger though, he's the biggest one. About five. More, oh my God. What in the hell? You gotta come look at this fish. It's belly. It's belly. It looks like your spotted bass did. It looks like it swallowed a... That is strange. It looks like it's pregnant. Guys, this drum looks like... I don't know. I want to cut it open and see. I don't know what this fish ate, guys. But it is... It's like there's a rat down there. It is insane. Oh my God. Just look at this drum's belly, guys. It's, um, it's literally like it swallowed a rat. That is weird. It's only about a four pound fish, but I bet it weighs probably six. What in the world? Look how swollen it is. You gotta come see this, it's strange. Here, guys, I don't know what to Here think of that. Here a bull. It's got, it's got a beer gut, maybe. He's been drinking Michelob, guys. That is really weird. I don't know what it would be feasting on. <laughs> I did not picture you. <laughs> Okay, hurry, because my finger's hurting. It's hard to hold this fish. Guys, what an absolute big belly. My gosh. It would normally only be about a four pound fish, but I bet it weighs six. <laughs> okay. The throat. is looking good really good clarity this is the clearest water we can find we had a really horrible weekend everywhere we went to is real stained and I mean like chalky this is the first place I found that has clear water and we got about one hour before it starts raining as you can see above me here it looks like it could come before that to be honest well, I'm gonna try to get on Buffalo and white bass using crankbaits. Let's just hope. We got a very short trip left of the day. Yesterday we went to the Mississippi River and drove two and a half hours to catch four drum. Today we went and tried for both in and it was so muddy. You couldn't see a lure, not even one inch down. This water here is pretty much crystal clear. That's a bass. I thought it was a buffalo. Holy crap, man. Whoa. Yeah. I thought it was a buffalo or drum. It's a big four pound bass. Man. I know it. I, I had no idea, honestly. I thought I snagged something. Honey. Big bass. Large mouth too, not a spot. Real large mouth. Now that made my day right here. 
this one fish alone, guys. Whoa. Man. Hey, you need to film me for a minute. Frustration finally paid off. Look at this beast. I want you to film me for a minute. I know. I'm gonna show with the lure in its mouth still too. Well, I need to hang up from the other side. I want you to get my crank bit. Hmm? I'm not gonna be able to get that. No, it's in here. Get it, please. No, I lost one the first cast. Oh my god, that's really big. No, yeah, it's not bad at all. Yeah. Nice. Hold it up like this a little. Not bad, huh? Yeah. I thought I had a buffalo or a drum or something. That's a big bass. Big bass. He's almost. He's three and a half. Guys, I'm gonna get him back in so he can live to fight another day. Finally, it's not worth mentioning anyway. Pretty nice. Nice one. Can you beat it, please? Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, Wilma's on something here, guys. Looks fairly decent. Oh my gosh, we need the dip net. It's all the way in the car though. Should have brought the dip net down here. That is a giant gar. I'm gonna have to get in and grab him. We need our gloves too. That's your biggest short nose ever, I think. Yeah, that's a nice one. It's a big gar, for sure. Too far to go get it. Hold your rod high so we don't get you in the rod. Let him wear down. We're gonna have to let. You need to at least go. You need to go up and get your gloves. You ain't gonna be able to hold this fish. Ah. Let me. Let him. We gotta let him just wear down for a minute. Go wear. That's a spotted guard. You may have beat me. You may have beat me. My record's 30. Oh, spotted, I don't know. Oh, don't do nothing. He's barely hooked. Barely hooked in the fin. Do not do nothing. What's in here? On the, not the, in the water. Here. I can't, I can't pick him up. Don't do nothing. Go get my fish grabber. Oh. I've never caught a spotted gar this big. Let's measure him real quick, hold on. All right guys, we're gonna get a measurement. This is a spotted gar. 36, guys. 36, three feet. Now, I gotta get a good picture of you. Well, hold it with the grippers on one end and then keep your hands under its belly on the other side. Now you need to step away because he's gonna want to flop in. Guys, this is Wilma's personal best spotted jar and she's got me beat on spotted now. I don't think I've caught one that big.
Okay, yeah, step back a little bit. Wait. My gosh, that's a big gar. Good job, honey. Yeah. Hold it down. There you go. I'm getting a good picture right now. It's hard to fit him all the way in there without get I can't get any closer than this. My goodness. Good job. Okay, that's good. Alright guys, hey, we got a knife. I'm gonna let him go. <sighs> oh, ho, ho. whoa! What the hell? Holy crap, man! Hey! God, thank God I got 30 pound line. I'll horse him. It's got to be a buffalo. Woo! I just wonder if he's spare hooked or not. I keep bumping him all the time. If you use those crankbaits with real giant hooks, you'll catch 20 of them. Man, he's going to get me hung. All right, guys, we got to go after this fish because it is starting to rain, rain. I'm getting him close. Yeah, I got me a nice buffalo here. Fair hook. <laughs> awesome. Man. You come hold this pole. Come, come hold this pole. Uh, hold on. Oh, maybe not yet. Where's your creeper? Get your creeper. That's Stevie. Creeper. Yeah. Then we gotta go, I guess. It's really coming now. What the? Oh, man. Oh, my God. Whoa. All right here. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> oh, he's about 15. He's... Okay. <laughs> that's that's is really big. I Guys, I wouldn't weigh this normally, but we're going to get out of here. It's starting to really come down. This is an easy 12 to 15 pounds. Got him on a chartreuse bandit crankbait. Let me show him from the other side. Still okay. It's not strong. It's not strong, Rain. Mm. Am I too close? No, that's fine. Okay. Keep that under your hat like that. That way it won't get wet. Well, guys, we ended up having a good day. I just wish we would have came here way earlier. <laughs> All right, guys, this end this day, we got to get out of here. Giant piece. Yeah. Oh, my God. <sighs> guys, well, that is not the end of our video. We went to the car. We said, let's just set it out a couple minutes. After about three minutes, it quit raining. It looks cleared up now. There's gonna be another one coming at six, so we got 40 minutes. The good news is everybody left because of that rain, except these two fellas right here. They did the same thing I was doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back down until it pours again. I hope I don't get down here and instantly get run off, but it is sprinkling just barely. But it looks like a little hope that it won't get heavy again for half an hour at least. That's all I'm hoping for. I get one more decent fish maybe.
Oh, he's small, I think. Maybe not. <sighs> no, he's not too bad. Fair hooked again, though. Three fair hooked ones. Oh, he's about five, six pounds. He didn't really notice he was hooked until now. <laughs> and now he's fighting. Ain't that weird? Oh my God. He seen us and went nuts. Ah, that pain current. Don't get me on. Oh. I'm glad I got 30 pound braid. I can for horse them a little. I can horse them a little bit. Oh my God, it's wearing me out though. Using my left arm like this. He ain't that big, he's only about five pounds. He went nuts when he seen me though. Yeah, another big mouth. Hey, okay, well, I'm gonna go under you real quick so I can grab my net. Nope. Oh, I'll be all right. <sighs> he might be bigger than I thought. He's about seven, six. <sighs> I tell you what, they don't get tired, these fish right here. It takes them a while anyway. They're all muscle, bone and muscle. Boy, I can't get much of a smaller dip net than this, can I? <laughs> they didn't have any big one. I had to get a little one. Uh, what I don't like about dip nets is when you're using crankbaits because they'll get hung the hook will ruin the net. He ain't as small as I thought he was. Yeah. He's, he might go seven pounds actually. Well, I had a dry spell there for a while though. I better get my pliers because yeah, I got a scale too, but it's in the car because I can't fit my tackle box and the, uh, I can't fit the tackle box, tackle box and the scale both in the backpack. You don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. All right, guys, this is my fourth, third buffalo of the day. Second one worth mentioning. Definitely not as big as the one earlier. He's about half that size. We're going to, this guy that here is with me, he wants to weigh it. I'll tell you what, you can just weigh the, you can hook the net to it, make it easier, and then just, just subtract probably one pound, I think. I'd say if net probably weighs about a pound. Eight, eight and a half, eight. Yeah, he's about seven, seven then. That one I had earlier had to be about 15. It's not a bad guy though, I'm happy. The weekend finally paid off a little bit. <laughs> I tell you what, can you hold this for me and just show, just, uh, it'll show me on the screen. I'm gonna hold it for a minute. I make fishing videos. Open his mouth. All right guys, I'm gonna get him back in. Seven pounds, big mouth buffalo. Pretty cool. End up having an all right evening anyway. Right here. He's just gonna hang out by us for a minute. I'm gonna get all that. Right. 